heard. You know, he just didn't understand how people's reactions were to him. And it used to break my heart. And I know, um, you know, being a mother and knowing when one of your children are hurting, that's like the, the worst kind of pain. Mm -hmm. And um, I would just ask the Lord to help me. And I know he, he did. You know, he, he really heard my prayers. Um, we see the fruit of all that we have been through. You know, you know, when you say that in the middle of the night, even turning to the scripture and reading some scripture, you know, you can't like read a few scripture and that will put a band-aid on an open wound. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not um, wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not like, well, I read these scriptures and now, you know, in my wishful thinking, you know, I feel better. You know, but that it really is, as you say, grace. Yes. That in the reading of the scripture, in the reading of the word of God, something's happening beyond the normal daily life, but it, it's the power of God that's bringing comfort because when you read the scripture, he didn't come knocking on the door. Right. It wasn't like, oh, he's home, I can relax now. Mm -hmm. But there was that assurance that, you know, that song, Blessed Assurance. Mm -hmm. You know, you had that assurance, a blessed assurance that, you know, it is all right, that that's, you know, sometimes people say, how do you hear God? Mm -hmm. And there was a hearing of God. You were hearing God. You didn't hear a voice say, he'll be all right. right. You know, but, but in your heart, you had a peace. A peace. That's not natural. Mm -hmm. You know, he, you still didn't know where he was. It was still the middle of the night. He still could be getting into serious trouble. Right. But when you went to the scriptures, the scriptural word of God released the life of Christ and the peace of Christ within your heart. So that's a beautiful testimony mm. for people to hear. It wasn't just um, self-help yes. by reach, reading this book, but it was the, the assurance of Christ that was coming to your heart and the faith that you had in him that he would take care of your son, that your son was his son. That's right. Mm -hmm. And just that surrender. Um, I found, you know, so much in my life when you, you know, when you don't have control over you know, being a mother of four children and, and them going out and doing things, even not in, to, in that respect, that you have to just turn them over to, to the Lord. You, you know, and I do that more and more because of the experiences that I've had to know that he's been there mm -hmm. and he's comforted me to know that he, they're his children. Mm. You know, we're raising them here, but, you know, he has big plans for them. And, and I have to say that... Um, just to follow up with Michael's story, um, it just is a wonderful one because um, Michael did stay through the rehab and um, he came out and um, he just went and um, went to the Youth 2000 group and he really flourished and he ended up living um, at one of the houses there that uh, they run for, for boys and he really did a wonderful job in getting his life together. So Youth 2000 has a house, mm -hmm. has several houses that they run for right. young men. Young men that are trying to get back on their feet and um, they just do wonderful things. So yeah. he became a part of that. He became a part of that and he was um, helping run the retreats that a lot of teens go to, uh, which are really wonderful. It's, um, it's a, a wonderful worship time. Um, they really, um, you know, concentrate on the Lord um, and the Eucharist. And Michael happened to have been able to do some testimonies to share his story with other teens. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just been wonderful. And, and um, what had happened was he met, he's now married and he met his wife on one of the retreats. Mm -hmm. And now they have a little grand, a little baby, my little grandchild, Kaylee. Uh -huh. And uh, so it's wonderful, mm -hmm. you know, that God just brought it all, all forth. And it was, a very difficult walk, but so they have a faith. They have a beautiful relationship. Yes, Their relationship is based on. Yes, that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. great. So yes, yeah. and then in the meantime, you have your father with you yes. as well, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, my mom um, has passed away uh, about five years ago. Very, very quickly, she had cancer, and um, and I was able to. Um, really be with her in her last days, which, which was such a privilege to me. Mm. Um, and my mom had asked me, you know, of course, can I take care of my dad? And I've always been closer with my parents, so um, I certainly have been. Um, my dad does have dementia, though, and...